Hey everybody, it's Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, and today is my kids' last day of school, so I am going to be in a rush to get some stuff done today, but I did see a garage sale sign, so I'm going to go check it out, and there is another garage sale in another city over that I'm hoping to check out before I have to go pick them up and um, get all my errands ran, so um, Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to find this random one where I just saw a sign going to. But so last night we did go uh, back and hit the dumpsters. I'm gonna insert the footage, but um, I'm just here to tell you we're like so done with that. I mean, if we're out and about and um, you know, we just happen to stumble upon you know a dumpster and we're out already, then that's one thing. But um, I'm not gonna be making a point to uh, get out at night because my husband doesn't like it. You know, I'm not crazy about it um, So yeah, I'm not gonna do that no more at night. I don't think it's safe. So we'll just stick to uh, daytime with Vanessa <laughs> Okay guys another night. See it's an Ulta dumpster uh, Not very much We're gonna be here tonight. I don't even know if I can reach it. They're so low. Definitely don't think tonight has returns or anything like that. So, moving on. This is another empty one. And we got a bunch of boxes in this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any boxes. Okay, so I saw that uh, vanity set there and I got real excited but the box is empty. That's actually the same brand as I have. It's a different model, but yeah, they're really good, really good mirrors. So I did see all these hangers here. So I'm gonna grab some of these for Vanessa and I because as I keep telling you guys over and over, we do like to use them for consignment. Hey, what's this? Oh, that looks like a picture. I guess they ruined it. Okay. A plant holder that goes or something. Okay, bummer, bummer. Oh, I can't believe my own scattered, my own shadow scared me. That was. Pretty sad. Oh my goodness gracious. Bunch of boxes. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything here to meet you guys. Besides my scary shadow. <laughs> okay, that was a super quick trip. We just went to pretty much three places. Ulta, PetSmart, and um, Pier 1. Nothing tonight except for some hangers for consignment. So, um, he's already getting tired of running around with me. <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we're probably just going to stick to uh, daytime dumpster diving because this getting out business at night is just not, it's not good for me. Like I'm like usually bathed and in my pajamas by now. So this has just been like, you know, a one, two, three time thing. So, <laughs> uh, no more nighttime. I think we're done with this. Ooh, there's the garage sale. 
these people usually have a really good garage sale, so I'm excited to see what they have. That is so nice of you, but you have the best garage sales. Yeah, this is the last one. Are you I'm telling you? Are you moving, or you're just done? <laughs> I, you know, I might have one when I move, but I don't foresee that happening. Yeah, you have some really pretty stuff. Sailors. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> I just dropped my kids off at school. Oh. I just broke it. That's okay. These things happen. Um, is all of your clothing the same price or are yes, there? Yes, one dollar. Oh, okay, good. I'm gonna check that out. Okay, now I found, I found the pieces. Okay. Two pieces. If you just look at it, you know you can almost uh, see it fits in there just nicely. I want to see if I can find the little piece there. Okay. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Oh gosh, what a rush that was. <laughs> There's nothing like finding a garage sale on a Thursday morning, right? <laughs> a surprise one that you didn't even know about before you left the house. Um, I think she's waving at me by. <laughs> so yeah, I just happened to see that sign when I dropped my daughter off at school and it was a really good garage sale. I spent 30 bucks, you guys, and I got a lot of stuff. Um, bless her heart, they just gave me that cross she dropped. So I'm gonna fix that and probably just keep that for myself. Um, let's see, so what all did I get, you guys? Oh my gosh, I got a lot of stuff. So I got two big topiaries. I love the design, like um, the architectural details of garden stuff. So I got um, two of those, they're only a buck each. And then I got me a groovy mid-century, uh, a groovy mid-century uh, trash can. I'll show you guys everything whenever I stop here soon, before I get home, because I've learned if I wait till I get home, I don't usually end up making a video about it. So I'll definitely do that here in a minute and uh, show you guys everything that I got at that sale. So excited. Okay, I decided to make better use of the next 30 minutes before Goodwill opens um, <clears throat> to go by the dry cleaners and the post office first. And then after I go to Goodwill, I'll run by that other garage sale because um, I don't want to uh, not be at Goodwill at night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was gonna say, so I asked those people, I asked them if they advertised because you know, I didn't notice the so it wasn't in the apps because I looked last night before I went to bed and um, he said that he advertised in Craigslist and you guys I always forget to look at Craigslist I don't know what in the world's the matter with me but I've got to start remembering to look at Craigslist so um, <clears throat> I'm pulling into the dry cleaners now and I'm picking up a little something special for Mr. Uh, Dwayne Hill so I am gonna be Dwayne's personal stylist from now on. I have decided it is my duty to do this because I am just so grateful eternally for everything that Hel that Helen and Heather have done for me and I just love them. And Dwayne loves Hawaiian shirts and if I can find them down here living on the coast and he can't find them in Utah, I'm totally gonna to get them for him and send them to him. So <clears throat> Dwayne and I am picking up your dry cleaning right now <laughs> and um, it will be in the mail probably tomorrow Mr. Hill <laughs> so anybody need a personal stylist I'm your girl um, but Dwayne gets this stuff for free <laughs> so you know and this place advertises that they're like a dollar 25 but oh my gosh they charge me let me see how many pieces I had. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not all Dwayne's stuff. Some of it's mine and my husband's stuff. Nine pieces for $21.26. That is not $1.25 each, y'all. 
Hey, I'm back. Hi, you up? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. She's like, what's this lady doing talking to herself? Push your heart. Well, I better turn it off or it won't be a surprise. Okay, y'all, done at the post office and the dry cleaners. Just pulled up to Goodwill. I got about 20 minutes before they open, so I thought I would utilize this time to show you guys everything I got. So these are the Toberries. There's two of them. One is just slightly a little bit bigger than the other. And like I said, those were only a dollar each. Really good score. Uh, let's talk about this real quick. So I got this at Walmart to replace a hanging basket of mine that broke. And it's these pop-in kind, you guys. And I went to pop one in yesterday and it busted. Like it broke right off. I'm totally gonna take that back and get another one. It's like $6.46. Isn't that ridiculous? And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up before I even leave the store to make sure it works. And I don't break it. Okay, so here is that groovy. At least I think this is mid century. Let me tell me what you guys think neat little trash can so oh my gosh y'all I got so much stuff I don't know how I'm going to do this and have it come on I don't really think it's really um, oh there's the cross you guys saw the cross I got she's so sweet she wrapped everything so nice there's the other cross oh they're so sweet look they put the little pieces in a baggie and everything for me so sweet This is a um, glass little jewelry trinket box. I always like to pick these up. Um, which reminds me, I have a Facebook group called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And lots of times I will um, have contests and I like to put jewelry in these little uh, glass trinket holders and uh, do a giveaway and send you guys free jewelry if you want. So come on over and join that group. And as long as I'm talking about groups, let's talk about the new one I created. Uh, yesterday it's called Let's Get Thrifty Free Stuff Straight to Your Mailbox. And um, <clears throat> every day I'll be posting um, free links to get stuff straight, you know, sent to your mailbox and also encouragement and motivation and inspiration as well. So, and I did get some clothing. The clothing was only a dollar each, even though you see it's marked five. She said it was a dollar each. So I got this really pretty little white dress and there's like a cool uh, orange little cocktail dress, like an evening, little evening dress. Let's see what the brand is on this one. This one is, um, what does this one say? I can't read. Tizo. Something like that. I'll have to check these out when I get home. Um, I think I got about five of them. This one's really nice. It's kind of like that mock looking, like crocodile looking skin or something. This one says Laundry by Shelly Seagal. Say six. So that one's really pretty for a dollar. This is how I like to buy clothes, you guys at garage sales because it's so cheap. Um, here is one by AA Studio, size 8. Just a long, nice summer type dress, sleeveless. <clears throat> and let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is Ann Taylor Loft. Real lightweight. I love these kind of dresses because they don't wrinkle quite so easy. Okay, so that's all I got here. Let me go look in the back seat. Oh gosh, I almost showed you all those clothes. Okay, so um, then I picked up, I think it's like a lunch, a little lunch bag or something. Um, brand is Timbuktu. I can't say I've heard of it before, but I thought it looked kind of cool and rugged. So I did pick it up. Um, so I got a Yankee candle for three bucks. 
I love that pine smell, you guys. That balsam and cedar smells so good. And then I got something that I got, and there's her friend. I don't want to show you guys. Um, but I do love this stuff from Bath and Body Works. It's called Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. It smells amazing. I'm really into aromatherapy right now, you guys, because my allergies have cleared up and I can smell, and it just makes life so much better. I mean, I'm so much happier when I can smell stuff, right? Um, let's see, and then I got four of these wood shelves. Um, two super long ones and then two of the shorter ones, more like, more like this right here. Um, and I want to create a backdrop like so many of my friends have um, behind their, let me get back in the car. Anyway. Okay, um, anyway, I was saying I want to create, um, like, you know, when I'm sitting at my desk, I want to create some like a backdrop and have those shelves in the back so that I can like you know display my fun collectible pieces um, and you know jewelry and stuff like that like I love how Thelma Thrift um, whenever she's sitting at her desk like the table behind her she has all of her really pretty like hand displays and everything with all of her jewelry and I kind of want to do something like that so she's really inspired me um, to do that and you know just for youtubers in general like some of my friends I talk to we always like to have nice bat drops So um, it may be something I could put a candle on you know I love to burn the candles now that I can smell so um, It just puts me in a really good mood which reminds me This is so random and I'm just totally babbling But when um, I was walking out of the post office a second ago, you know when you pass somebody make eye contact with them and I wasn't necessarily going to say hi, but I smiled at the lady and she said, hi, good morning. And I thought, you know, that's so sweet. Good morning. You know, like I love happy, shiny people. So, um, you know, that REM song, happy, shiny people. I think it's how it goes or something like that. I love REM. So, um, just about, uh, ready to hop out of the car again but, and go in. They're going to open probably in about, I think, 12 minutes. Sometimes if I go stand out early stand out there and wait they open early like yesterday they opened like six minutes early but yeah that's a lot of good stuff for thirty dollars don't you feel like i got some good stuff you guys i'm excited so and then later today probably after i go to this uh garage sale down in kima i um i'm gonna go buy my storage unit so i have a five by ten unit but i'm thinking of getting oh there's my little friend at zener in a while uh, I have a 5 by 10 unit already and they the prices just went up on me. They went up to $89. I think I was paying like 70 a month. It's climate controlled, first floor. Um, so whenever I go in, you know, I just pull up, get out of my car, run to the hallway and I can get right back in. You know, I don't have to go into any elevators or anything like that. Well, my friend Lonnie, Garage Flips, if you guys don't subscribe to him, I highly recommend you do. <laughs> Lonnie's very informative and he gives out a lot of good good value you guys so um, especially for the guys you know you guys like to pick up different stuff than us ladies so Lonnie has recently got a second storage unit and he's like all about being organized and he has inspired me too so um, I called to see what was available because I was thinking maybe you know I need a 10 by 10 because I want a place just for my clothing like my I guess you call that hard goods too like my clothing and my shoes and um, a 10 by 10 on the floor level where I am, they can actually ask for more money. They want to charge me like a lot more. But if I go up to the third floor, they're only going to charge me 65 or 80. I can't remember. I think it's eight. I think it's 80 for a 10 by 7, or they'll charge me 130 for a 10 by 10 on the third floor all climate controlled but I got to use the elevators and I'd be having to use my buggy crate a lot that big buggy I push because that'd be a lot of hauling back and forth with stuff so I'd have to start carrying that thing in my car again um, so I'm called yesterday and she reserved it for me the 10 by 7 because I'm not gonna pay for three more feet I'm not gonna pay an extra what is that like 50 bucks I'm just not gonna do it it's too much money so um, I'm gonna try it out I think I'm gonna go ahead and pay for it tomorrow's June 1st so I'm gonna see uh, 
see how it goes. What do you guys think? I mean, I need to get organized. Like, I need to regain my house back. Like, seriously. And, you know, if I, I was telling Lonnie, like, what I want to do is, oh my gosh, I'm rambling. But what I want to do is just like, I want to be able to go and I'm going to get some shelf, shelving units like he has too. And I need to probably go to Walmart and get some of those hanger things so I can hang on my clothes up because I want my clothes hanging up. So like when you walk in, I want one side listed and you know, one side's going to be unlisted. That's how I want it set up. And then I'll probably put some shelving units in the middle for my shoes. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see how that all works out. But um, I would like to be able to go up there, grab 10 pieces at a time you know, take it home, photograph it, list it, and then take it back up there and put it on the listed side. And that just be my process, like every other day, perhaps do something like that. But I need to get a system down and I feel like this is worth for $80 extra a month to give it a try to be organized. I mean, let me know what you guys think. I'd be curious to see what you think. That's so funny. I still see that bag of jewelry sitting there from yesterday. I guess nobody else thought it was a good deal either. I'm so glad I passed on that. Some donations out. Somebody's getting hyped up for work over there. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back home to make a drop real quick. Uh, I had to drop all this stuff off before I go get Madeline. But I wanted to show you what I picked up at Goodwill. Uh, well, here's a better look at those uh, little shelving units I picked up at that first garage sale. The second garage sale went to, key into, went to in chemo was a total waste of time, but you know, you win some, you lose some, right? So uh, this picture, I'm not sure who the artist is, but I paid $4.99 for that one, and it's mounted really, really nicely too. So that's nice. Um, here's the second one. This one was only $5. Henry Matisse. Uh, and this one was uh, $7.99. So also mounted really nice. These will probably both go to my antique booth. And I'll probably put about uh, 40 or 50 on each one of those. And then here's a better look at the, um, I don't know what you call these things, topiaries or garden thingies that I got. And I bought me a card table uh, when they're cheap enough. I always go ahead and pick them up, uh, use that to show you guys my haul videos on and stuff. And there's my baby trash can again. So now I'm off to the storage unit to look into that uh, 10 by seven unit. So off I go. Um, well, I don't know if I would move in today. I probably, well, I'd probably have to pay today if I want to get the price, right? Yeah. No. No? Um, I mean, the rent's $80 a month and rent's gonna be due tomorrow. So if you move in tomorrow, okay. Yeah, you're in, like if you move in today, you'll just pay for the last day of June. I mean, the last day of May, but you'll still have to pay for. When's June the latest I can move in and keep that price? Mm -hmm. Like next week or? The eighty dollars. Yeah, that's just the price for the space. So okay. It doesn't matter when you move in; it stays that price. This one's a ten by ten, and this one, the price for it, the ten by ten, is one thirty four. One thirty four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice big space. Too bad we can't utilize. Do people ever utilize like this cubic, what do you call that, like cubic area up here? I mean, people put shelves in here. Yeah, like stack shelves. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 10 by 10. Okay. Uh, we have a, uh, a decorating company that has like nine storages here. Oh, gosh. And they store all their uh, decorative think... stuff. I've seen, uh, what's it called, uh, Larry's Coral? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they I've have, seen they over have, nine they units. Have, they have nine. Holy moly. And that's kind of far for them, too, because aren't they in Friendswood? Mm hmm They're building their warehouse. It's just, until their warehouse is finished, all their stuff is here. Yeah. Quite literally just shoved forward, right? Mm -hmm. Same amount of space shoved forward, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Okay, so what do you guys think about the storage units? Um, you know what? After all of that, you're just going to kill me. I think I'm just going to stick with the unit I have and, and make it work. I just, it's just too much. I just can't. <laughs> So uh, the deal, whenever I left, this is what we left with. I was like, okay, 
I'm thinking about just getting a 10 by 10 on the third floor for, what did she say? Oh gosh, I'm gonna draw a blank now. Oh, $134 because if I had two, now you don't know this, but I had talked to her later and decided I was gonna get another five by 10 on the third floor because I wasn't impressed with the seven by 10 at all. I mean, it's like, what, like three more feet. It's just like hardly nothing. No, it's just almost like five by 10. So I was like, it's not worth it. So, um, so when I left, that was a deal. I was thinking about just getting a 10 by 10 unit and the two five by 10s would have been 156 a month. One 10 by 10 on the third floor would only be $134. I pay $89 now for my eight by 10 floor unit. I pay more because it's on the ground level. So, um, at the time to me, that was making more sense just to lose the ground level one and move everything, everything up to the 10 by 10, uh, unit upstairs and just have a little bit more room. So I don't know you guys, what do you think? You think I should move to the 10 by 10 unit and, um, ditch the, the lower floor one or should I just, 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 just calm the heck down <laughs> and just keep the unit I have and make it work. I think I'm probably just going to keep, I'm just so busy. I'm probably just going to keep the unit that I have now. And, and make a better better space better uh, what's the word uh, organization of it I want to go buy some of those shelves like Lonnie showed in um, one of his videos he recently did he bought some shelves at uh, some black shelves at uh, Home Depot for like 1997 so I'd like to maybe get four of those and get super organized and uh, see if we can make that work the problem is is I have seasonal decor stored up there too like all my blow molds now and, and I just don't feel like blow molds are safe to store in the heat in the attic at my house it gets so hot in Texas and I just I don't want them to ruin you know I cherish them so that's why I keep them at the storage facility so um, I don't know let me know what you guys think <laughs> I'm just a mess so um, let me think uh, go join my new group it's called let's get thrifty uh, free mail straight to your mailbox or something like that free stuff straight to your mailbox uh, and I also you know provide free stuff daily for you to get and also uh, inspiration motivation and encouragement quotes and um, it's just a fun place for us re resellers to be and to hang out and get free stuff uh, join my jewelry group it's called thrifty jewelry treasures on Facebook um, if you're interested in getting a jewelry subscription box I also do that it's $19.95 a month plus free shipping. If you live in the United States, you get seven pieces of jewelry. That's, uh, you get uh, two pairs of earrings, uh, two bracelets, a necklace, a brooch, and one surprise piece. So uh, seven pieces for $19.99 shipped. Uh, just shoot me a message if you're interested in that and I can get you set up on the plan. And um, it didn't have to be a plan. If you just wanna try it out for a one-time one -time thing, um, I had a re lady recently do that. Um, you can just try it out once and see if you like it. Um, if you don't like it, you don't have to subscribe. If you like it, then subscribe. Uh, let's see, I got some food groups also. Uh, all things tacos, because I love tacos, like my favorite food. I have another group called uh, Tasty Treasures, <laughs> where we share recipes over there. Uh, my friend Barb, uh, going on Grumpy, she's very active over there, so I appreciate all her input. And Dwayne and Lonnie, people are posting over there, so I appreciate it. Um, I also have a group called Poshmark Talk, where I run that with um, Andy, the Parrot Head Picker, and Lauren, Hot Chic Thrift. And let's see, what else do we do? I have a, I have a um, group called Antique Booth Talk, and that is a monthly show that I do with Jen, the Pudgy Picker, and also uh, Tammy from Tam's Place. Uh, all three of us own antique booths and we live in different parts of the United States. So it's fun for us to get together and talk about our booths and what we're doing, what we're selling, uh, what we're picking up to sell and whatnot. Let me think if I've forgotten anything. Uh, the reseller six pack comes on Sunday nights at uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is a rotating show. So be sure and join that group because um, you, you, that's where you'll get the update on whose channel, who, who will be hosting. So um, come join us over there. 
my good friend uh, John, uh, the Cincinnati Picker, and Lonnie Garageflitz. They host a weekly show on Thursdays at 2 o'clock called This Week in Reselling. And they also um, have Facebook group, which I help them admin, so come join us over there. That show, they uh, flip-flops between their channels, too. They take turns hosting. So um, come join them over there. And what else? The Reseller Stew with my girls. Um, we uh, we are all busy moms, and so we've been super busy. We haven't been stewing a whole lot lately, but we are definitely not giving up on the show. We are definitely still stewing people. So, um, and when we do stew, it is on Tuesdays at noon Central Standard Time. And let's see what else. Auntie and I have a show called um, Jewelry Detectives, and we try and schedule at least two shows a month. And Angie is with Treasured Vintage, so I highly recommend you go subscribe to her channel because she does amazing jewelry hauls and unboxings and all things jewelry. She's so successful. She's a very successful reseller with jewelry. Um, and her preferred platform is Etsy, so always love to see what Angie's selling. Um, her pictures are so beautiful. And let's see what else. Have I forgotten anything? Oh. Uh, me and Vanessa, right? <laughs> so I'm not going to make another Facebook page for our dumpster diving, but um, be sure and come back and check us out. She's working on getting her channel together right now too on YouTube. And so um, we're going to be downloading or I'm going to be downloading the videos for her so that she can upload them on her channel too. Because when you're a team, that's what you do. You share the video. That way you get more exposure. Um, so that's all I've got for today. I'm in line to pick up Madeline from her last day of school. She's so excited. I'm taking her and a friend to get a snow cone. And then we're going to go to the Dollar Tree. And I've got a $15 gift card there. And I'm going to give them $7 each. So they get to pick out uh, seven items. So they're really excited about going shopping at the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. And speaking of free stuff, this weekend, this Saturday at Michael's, uh, the craft store, is a free superhero slime event. I posted it over in the um, Let's Get Thrifty Facebook group page. Um, I'm definitely gonna take uh, Madeline and one of her friends up there. It's Saturday from one o'clock to three o'clock. It's totally a free event. And uh, the girls are really into the, the slime right now. So I'd rather them be making slime at Michael's than my house any day. <laughs> so uh, come join the group. You can find out information like that. So. Um, We'll see you in the next video, and I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. I'm sure I'll be back tomorrow with some kind of a garage stall ride along. So we will see you in the next one. Bye.